Hi everyone, I'm Josh and this is Josh Wright Piano TV. Today I have a quick tip for each of you to make your scales cleaner and more clear, avoid clumping, and avoid ghost notes. A lot of times I see students do this. This is from the Scarlatti Sonata K239. Okay, I see a lot of students go and this could just be in their normal scale work, or it could be here, within a piece, you know, and this, the possibilities are endless. What's actually happening there? The fingers aren't releasing, so a preliminary exercise is practicing finger staccato, and then practicing rhythms. Or, okay, that really helps. But, second of all, is this idea that the fingers are always ahead of the hand. What happens is sometimes we get ahead of ourselves a little bit and we go and then our hand turns. Try playing the piano like this. Okay, try playing rock three like this. Even the opening is almost impossible. Whereas if the hands are straight on, it feels so much better. Or even something like the cadenza. have to keep the hands pretty straight. If you turn and you try to play like this, the fingers are angled in such a way that it's really hard to execute anything. It's most prevalent I find in scales, but this has a lot of practical applications elsewhere. Uh, arpeggios, even with chords, always keep the, the point of contact very precise. So um, let me show you the difference. So I'm not only going to think of, sorry, keeping those fingers pretty much straight on. I mean, you can move a little. You, you do need a little bit of flexibility and rotation to keep the hand loose. But you're never gonna go, try to get, allow the hand to push ahead or um, you know pull it this way or this way. Try to keep things a more, ne more neutral overall. And the, the student was also doing something like this. He was kind of, it was more prevalent in the left hand because he's right-handed as most of us are. Um, and he, said, why is that happening? I was like, look at what your hand's doing. Try playing a scale like this. Okay, now try playing a scale like this. And just shift the hand. Yes, you can cross still a little bit, but, but shift the hand as you go down. Especially in higher speeds, you can shift more than you need to cross because you're spending less time on the keys. So, and already he got it. Like on the first try, it was really cool. He's a bride student though, so. can tell the clarity stays there when I do that. Okay, I hope that helps. Always keep those fingertips ahead of the hand. Don't let the hand pull the fingertips into an angle where you can no longer play effectively. If you've liked this video or any of my other videos, please subscribe. I will put a subscribe button up here. I will put a link to all of my video lessons and courses down here, and I will put uh, links to two videos over here if you'd like to keep watching. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions.